Hey, what's up, SAS Masters? My name's George, and today I'm gonna show you Markup Hero, which is on a lifetime deal right now. Now, what it does is pretty simple, but super useful. So it actually does a screenshot of your screen, obviously, and it lets you do annotations on it. You can draw, you can put some text, you can put some boxes on it, and send that out with a simple link to anyone you want. So it could be your friend, your colleague, your family, just anything that you want to screenshot with annotations and share it with a simple link, super fast and super easy. Now, heads up, this deal might not be for everyone, so if you already have a screenshot taker that's on a lifetime deal then you might not need this because for example I already have another one so I will not be getting this one but I will show you what I like about it what I dislike and at the end of the day you will decide if you want if you want to buy it or not so let's jump over to my screen and show you how this actually works all right guys this is the deal I was talking about and it's only $29 so that means it's a lifetime deal pay once use it forever and if you guys would like to support me please consider using that link in the description now let's jump over to the plan and see if it's actually good. Now right off the bat there's something that I dislike is that they only include one user. I wish they would include at least three users but then again it's only $29 but like I said I wish they had three users at least. You get unlimited file uploads so no storage limit and you get 8 megabyte max file size per screenshot. Um, 8 megabytes might not sound like a lot, but it's enough for screenshots. So that's a pretty good size for screenshots. You're not going to be using this for a billboard, right? And things that I dislike about it is that they don't have yet the custom branding. You can't add your own logo, your description or anything, and you can't add your custom domain. So that means the shareable link will be from Markup Hero. But they say this is on the roadmap and it will be included. So that's a plus for them. All right. So let's jump over to their site really quickly. And what you get is this dashboard right here. And you can download Markup Hero to get it, get it actually working. Now, let's talk about the actual app that you download. It's available for Windows and Mac, right? Right now we're using it on Mac. Is that there's not a lot of things going on on the app. So you click on it and basically it just tells you if you want to take a screenshot by using the key code Command Shift 1 or if you just click on it right here and you can do a screenshot. So that's all that the app has. That's something I truly dislike. And I'll show you why with the example of the one I'm using, right? So I'm using Droppler for this and I'm just gonna open Droppler and I get all of this. So from Droppler, I get like screencast. I can do a screenshot. I can do a screen video of it. I got my screenshots right here, the recent ones. I got some preferences and all that good stuff. So there's a lot of things going on on the app and a markup hero, well, there's actually nothing going on. It just activates the command key to use it. So let me close this one that it opened, all right? So I'm gonna do command shift one and it activates the screenshot taker and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, okay? And it's gonna load it on a website. So it loads it right here and now I can do annotations. So what type of annotations can we do? First off, we got text. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to say, hello guys. Okay. So that's going to be one of the texts and I can resize this text if I need to. So that's right there. I can click on that and let's see if I can do some sizes on this. So let's go to size one. So this is the way you would resize it. Okay. That's one of the annotations. Let's see if we can drag it. Yes, we can drag it. We can draw lines if we need to. So there's a line. We also have the app option for arrow. So let's just, Hey, Hey guys, look at that right there. This is the annotation. We have boxes available, all right? We have circles available, so check this out. Circle works that way and just drag it wherever you need it. You got the highlighter, so if you wanna highlight this, hey, this is what you have to check out. You got the colors available right here. Also, they said they're gonna add custom colors. These are the ones that are available right now. And the sizings are these right here, so that's available. We can also, this is something that I haven't seen it in other screenshot takers, is that you can insert an image inside of here to add the annotations also. So you can put an annotation as an image right here. So that's pretty cool. You can trash it, you can undo, redo, we can share, copy, download, or duplicate. So let's share this link. So now it's copied to a shareable link. And let me put it right here on the next tab. And let me paste it. And like I said before, it has the branding mark up here right here. And let's go see it. So it's going to open it that way. And that's the annotations. That link, you can send it out to anyone. So it's super easy to do. So for example, now we can do the annotations also. Let me open it incognito and open it there and see what happens. All right. So this is incognito mode. And 
there you go. Okay, so now we don't have the way to annotate right here. Unless we copy it, I guess, then that would make another clipboard and we can do it also. We can download it, we can sign up. And what I said before about branding is that you can't remove it. So there's Markup Hero here, there's Markup Hero on the, on the link, on the fav icon, and all that stuff. Um, things that I dislike about it is that you can't go outside of the screenshot to do an annotation. Why is this a big deal for me? Okay, I'll show you that. Let's do another screenshot of the same place, all right, right here. And I'm gonna use Dropler, okay? For Dropler, I'm gonna use my command, so I'm gonna use the command shift, and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this again. And one of the things I like about Dropler is that you can go outside of the box. So for example, I'm gonna open this a little bit wider, and let's just say I need to use the, the arrow, and I can do draw the arrow from outside of the box, and that will work. Or if I need to annotate something right here, I can do it. Or if I need a bit more space for text, then I can use the outside of it. So that is something that I like about, for example, Dropler and that Markup Hero doesn't have. So those are just little things that I find out. Now something that they just, they just added is the integration for Google Drive and Slack app. The Google Drive, what it lets you is go to Google Drive, which I already done. And I'm gonna right click on this one and I'm gonna say open with, and I, now I have Markup Hero as the annotation, so it can it can open up PDFs, files like um, Word docs or something like that, and open it as an image, and we can do annotations on it. So there we go. That is the annotation, and I could do just the things I needed to do on that screenshot. So that's something that's available in Google Drive as one of the features that they have, and I haven't seen it in other screenshot takers. So that's just something extra there. And overall, that is what Markup Hero does. And like I said before, if you already have a screenshot taker deal from before that's working fine, then this deal might not be for you. Or if you wish to have it because it might be even better than the last one, then that would be a good reason to have it. And if you don't have a screenshot taker, then I truly consider you guys buy something like this. Even if it's not this one, just grab something as a screenshot taker. It saves you a ton of time. The first time I discovered a screenshot taker, I was blown away and I basically I use it every single day. Every single day I use a screenshot taker for support, for, for my family, just whatever I want to screenshot, I just send it out really quickly. I don't waste time. I just go, for example, with Dropler, I just go like this, save it. My link is shaved, saved and I send it over. I don't have to download the file. I don't have to upload and select the file that I screenshot if I use my native screenshot taker. So it saves me a whole lot of time. Plus, for example, for support, I, I use, for example, Namecheap. And for support on their hosting, they, you have to send out a link. They don't let you upload files. So I don't use theirs. I just use mine and just go straight to do, using support. So it's super useful, like I said before. It's simple, but super useful. There you go, guys. That is the deal that's going on right now. It's only $29, and if you found it useful, if you guys want to buy that deal, remember and consider using my link in the description, which gives me a small commission, and it won't cost you a single cent more. Thank you for watching. My name is George, and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.